y'all should be getting a little heavy. And so he says over in 1 John, the first chapter, verses 1 through 3, that which was from the beginning, my God, look at here, that which from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, we have looked upon and our hands have handled the word of life. The word now got on clothes. The word's now flesh and blood. Are you with me, Diane? And then it says, and then it says, for the life was manifested, we have seen it and bear witness and show unto you the eternal life which was with the Father and was manifested unto us. That which we have seen and heard and declare we unto you that ye may have fellowship with us and truly our fellowship is with the Father and with the, his Son, Jesus Christ. My God, look at here. But God's final and most complete revelation is in his Son. Now, Keith, you didn't know what you, when you spoke in Sunday school this morning and you said the revelation. Do you remember that? Uh, 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 you can come to church all you want, but if you don't understand this, uh, you missed the whole thing of your salvation. But God's final and most complete revelation is his, his, in his son Christ Jesus. Jesus said, anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. Oh, oh let me go over here. I, I, I didn't want to go there, but let me go over here. Let me go to John 14. Can, can I go over there? John 14, the 8th chapter through the 11th. Uh, Philip, was, Philip represents you and me. Philip's, are, are, you in, are, you in, are you over there? Are you in John 14? All right, verses, verses 8 through 11. Philip said unto Jesus, said unto, uh, uh, unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it suffice us. Here it comes. Jesus said unto him, have I been so long with you? And yet you have not known me. Philip, he that has seen me has seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, show us the Father? Believest thou that I am in the Father and the Father in me? In the words I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me. He does the work. And look what he said. Believe me that I'm in the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. In other words, in other words, can I make it live? Philip, have I been with you so long? I'm the only God you're going to ever see. Uh, let, me, let me move. Oh, the wisdom of God. Now, let me, I'm teaching. You don't mind me teaching today, do you? Now look at Proverbs, that eighth chapter uh, from the NLT and begin reading at that 22nd verse. And the Lord formed me from the beginning. Talking about Jesus now. Are you with me? Before he created anything else, I was appointed in ages past. Jason, you with me? At the very first before the earth begun. Ah, I was born before the oceans were created, before the springs bubbled forth their waters, before the mountains were formed, before the hills I was born, before he had made the earth in the fields and the first uh, handful of soil, before he even made dirt, I was here. I was there when he established the heavens, even before he made angels or anything, I was there. When he drew the rising on the ocean, I was there when he set the clouds above. Uh, uh, and when he established springs deep in the earth, I was there when he set the limits of the seas so they would not spread beyond their borders. And when he marked off the earth's foundation, I was there. 
I was the architect. I want you to catch this now. I'm going somewhere. Uh, don't holler about, uh, don't get like some people because uh, 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 Reverend Watson can tell you and those of you that came over there when I told the preachers, I'm not going all jumping through the Bible. I'm hooking it up. And if you can't keep up with it, you don't know the hookup. And look what he said. I was the architect at his side. I was his constant delight, rejoicing in his presence. I was the architect at his side. I was the architect at his side. I was the architect at his side. This ain't no shouting message. This is a thinking message. Now, if you got your Bibles, if you got your Bibles, go to Ephesians, the third chapter, and now you see why God, Ryan, called Paul. He had to have somebody who had a deep thinking mind. And, and don't forget now, uh, the NLT say, I was the architect at his side. Mabel, I see you shaking your head. I believe you got it. Miss Moore, you still with me? I was the architect at his side. Are you in Ephesians now? Look at Ephesians 3, 9. It might make you shout. Look at Ephesians 3, 9. Look what Paul said. And to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery which from the beginning of the world has been hid in God who created all things by Christ Jesus. Now you just missed a shout. Proverbs said he was the architect and Paul said he made everything through Jesus. Well, Holy Ghost, we'll leave that alone. The wisdom of Christmas, Christ the power, the wisdom of God. Now over in 1 Corinthians, I, I got my teaching hat on today. Over in 1 Corinthians 124 and down to 127, but unto them which are called both Jews and Greek, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. Say it again. Say, say it loud. Let Miss Daisy hear it. Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. The power and the wisdom of God. Now, I'm going to prove it why everybody can't get this. Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men. And the weakness of God is stronger than man. God don't care what you think. Now look at verse 26, Pastor Watson. For you see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men, because God don't have time to put you in a philosophy class. It's all here in the book. It's right here in the book. God ain't got time to put you uh, in a class and let you dissect him. For you see your calling, brother, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many, not, not many, he didn't say uh, all of them were, were, were ignorant, not many noble are called, but God has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise and God has chosen the weak things so when God get ready to, to, to get a deep preacher he go get somebody out the ghetto of Washington D.C. who ain't got no better sense than to say yeah, I'm God's yes man are y'all with me the power and wisdom of God for in him talking about Christ dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, Christmas. For in Christ, uh, Christ uh, who lives, he's the fullness of God in the human body, Christmas. Christmas. 
Christmas, the little town of Bethlehem. That's your Christmas, not mine. I know it's in the Bible, but he wants you, if you've been saved for some years, he wants you to get past that the little town of Bethlehem. Jesus stepped out of eternity into human history, sent by the Father to die for the sins of the world. 